Hey, welcome to Color Yoga. My name is Kyle and welcome to The Slow Flow. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I'm a yoga teacher from Cape Town, South Africa. And I have a variety of different yoga series on this channel, all shot in different colors. And today we are on the slow flow, shot in this lovely color. And it is a 25 minute all levels class. And as in the name, we're gonna really slow things down and focus on holding postures for a couple of breaths and really solidifying our ability to synchronize our breath with our movements. And throughout our practice today, we're gonna to use the Ujjayi breath. And if you are familiar with this, Breathing technique, amazing. If you've never heard of it, that's also cool. I've got an intro video down below, so you can go ahead and check that out. It explains everything. And we're gonna really focus on applying a breathing technique throughout the whole practice, and you'll see it changes the experience completely. So when you're ready, you can grab the mat. Let's begin. Welcome back. So bring yourself to a comfortable seat, easy cross-legged, and if your hips are having a bit of pain or your knees are a bit sore, you can always sit on a pillow or a block just to give yourself a bit of height. And when you're ready, take a nice deep breath in through the nose, feel your belly expand. With a long, soft exhale, let your eyes come to close. I'm gonna begin with just drawing our attention inwards and noticing the contact we make with the ground. It's just giving us all some time to take a few deep, long breaths to arrive onto our mat. Begin to engage your ujjayi breath. So the slight hissing sound, the restriction in the back of the throat. And we're gonna focus on holding that ujjayi breath throughout our practice, allowing for our breath to gently begin to lengthen encouraging long, smooth breaths throughout the class. And it's kind of the main focus of today's class is just long, smooth ujjayi breaths. And we're just gonna notice how it changes our experience. Take a nice deep breath in. Long exhale to release and let it all go. Nice, one more time. Inhale to fill. Exhale to release. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky, touch them above your head. Exhale, bring them through to prayer at your heart center. Make in contact with your sternum. You can take a moment just to set an intention for your class. And this can be for you or for someone else. It's always nice to try and embody a sense within the body. So try and put an emotion towards it and embody it and try and feel it completely. When you're ready, you can bow your head towards your hands to seal that off. And we'll begin today's class in child's pose at the back of our mats, having our knees out wide, toes touching, hands reaching out in front. And as usual, this is, I suppose one could call it home base. So if you ever feel tired and you want to have a nice break or just you want to relax, you can stay or you can return to child's pose. You're also more than welcome to lay here for the remainder of the class. You know, reach the hands out, allow your hips to relax back and down. And seeing if you've managed to hold on to your jai breath, and if not, that's totally fine. And seeing if you could just activate it when it comes up into your attention and you'll find that over time, it kind of settles in as a second nature. Take a nice deep breath into the belly. With some sound, open mouth sigh to release. And inhale, come up to tabletop, walk your hands towards the top of your mat, spread your fingers wide, tuck your toes. On your next exhale, come up into down dog, hips up, heels down. Close your eyes, five breaths. Now, you're more than welcome to work into this posture if you'd like to pedal from left to right. Again, you wanna press the ground away, nice active arms, keep them nice and straight, wrap the elbows in, and we're gonna start off with rather a little bend to the knees. So if your hammies are feeling a little bit tight, bend to the legs, get the chest down towards the toes. So you're encouraging a straight line from your fingers to your tailbone. And the nice thing about the Ujjayi breath is that you have the sound to keep your attention. So see if you can use your awareness to follow the breath or trace the breath all the way in. Notice the silence at the end and follow it all the way out. 
take a deep breath in. As you exhale, walk your hands towards your feet, moving to the back of the mat. And when you get there, move into ragdoll, feet hip width distance apart. You can grab opposite elbows. If you like, you can interlace them, place them behind the head to tuck the chin. Always nice to work some length along the spinal cord. And if you'd like to, you can pedal the legs out from left to right, even swaying the body over to the one side and over to the next. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Squeeze your elbows together and with a long Ujjayi exhale, release the forehead down to the floor. Hands lower down, inhale, half lift, tuck the chin, spine parallels to the floor. Exhale, plank, walk your hands slowly forward. Now, as always in plank, you can always lower the knees for support. Inhale, send your hips and your heels up towards the sky. Press the ground away, high on the toes. Exhale, lower the heels down. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg rises. Exhale, knee to nose, shift the weight forward, squeeze, lift the hips up. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg up and back to hold. Stay here for a moment, even the weight between your hands. Actively send your heels up. Now, you've got some options. You can either place the foot back down and walk towards the top of the mat, or with your left leg only, you can hop towards the top, coming into a standing L or standing splits. You can make your way there. You can have start off with a little bend to the left leg, high up into the fingertips, relax the back of the neck, keep the right leg active or bent. You still want to breathe into the back of your lungs, nice long ujjayi breaths. If your left leg is taking a bit of a hammering, you can place your right leg back down on the floor just to give it a bit of support. If it's up, inhale, half lift, length out the back of the neck. Exhale, slowly bend your left knee and touch your right foot down to the floor. Lower the back knee, coming into a low lunge. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky above your head. Exhale, bring them through to prayer at your heart center, squaring your hips off. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, prayer twist to the left side. Hook the right elbow outside your left knee. Hands come to prayer at your chest and use your hand, elbow, knee connection to rotate the spine. Stay here for five breaths. Now, see if you can close your eyes. Allow your attention to be embodied here. Voila. As you use your inhale to lengthen out the neck and exhale to twist the spine. So you're gonna, you can often use the same technique throughout all twists where you will use your inhale to create length and space and exhale to twist and deepen. Last breath in, last breath out. Release, inhale, arms reach up to the sky above your head. Now with your exhale, take your right foot twisted off your mat. Right hand comes down towards the back of the mat for a side extension. And left arm reaches alongside your ear. Now this is slightly different. Find yourself into a comfortable position. You want to ground down through the edge of your back foot. The right hand is at the back of the mat to reach. Keep breathing, you've got some options here. If you'd like to turn it up, you can lift your knee up into your chest or you can place it off your mat and open up into a fallen triangle, reaching through the hand. Still encouraging long ujjayi breaths, keeping a soft sense of softness to your face and your breath. Release, place your left hand down on the mat. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg reaches up and back. With an exhale, place it down to down dog. Inhale, shift the weight forward to plank. Exhale, lower halfway, Chaturanga. Keep your elbows in, and if you need to, you can lower the knees for support. Inhale, upward facing dog. Straighten the arms, squeeze the thighs. Look up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hips up. Gently lower the heels down. Inhale, three legged dog. Left leg reaches up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Now shift the weight forward, press the ground away, lift the hips up. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg up and back to hold. Stay and breathe. Actively send the left heel up, even the weight between your palms. Press the ground away. You've got some options. Now you can either walk to the top 
Or if you'd like a little bit more, take the right foot and we're gonna to hop towards the top of the mat, coming into a standing splits or a standing L. See if you can allow your head and your shoulders to hang heavy off your hips, relaxing the face. If you need to, you can lower the left foot down to the floor for support. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen out the back of the neck. And with control, bend the right knee and touch the back foot down to the floor. Lower the back knee down, coming into a low lunge. Well done. Inhale, crescent moon, arms reach up to the sky above your head. Exhale, bring it through to prayer at your heart center. With your hips square, take a deep breath in, shift the weight forward. Exhale, prayer twist to the right side, left elbow hooks, bring the hands to prayer, twist and rotate. So look up and over the left shoulder, keep breathing, five breaths. Now it's in these moments of stillness that you can really challenge your attention here. And you'll probably find that the Ujjayi breath, whilst twisted, can be a little bit challenging, but you'll get comfortable and slowly start to relax and allowing the restriction to kind of be a natural breath in and a natural breath out. Again, remembering to inhale the length of the neck and exhale to twist and deepen. Last breath in and last breath out. Release, inhale, arms reach up to the sky. And with an exhale, we're gonna to move towards the back of the mat, left foot shifts off the mat, left hand touches to the front of the mat and reach the right arm alongside the ear for a side stretch. Now ground down to the edge of the right foot, wrap the pinky and open the chest up. If you would like some more, lift the knee up or place it off and extend to open up into a fallen triangle. And release, right hand comes down. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg reaches up and back. Exhale, down dog, place the foot down. Inhale, knees bend, gaze forward. Exhale, step, jump or float, top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, ujjayi breath, tuck the chin. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, high mountain, knees bend, arms rise up. Exhale, samasitihi, bring your hands to prayer. Well done. We're going to really focus on the one breath, one movement. Inhale, high mountain, arms reach up. Exhale, fold to release. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift to prepare. Exhale, plank, step back. Again, see how you're feeling. You can always lower the knees. Inhale, weight shifts forward. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog over the toes. Look up, roll the shoulders back. See if you can hover your knees. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips up, heels down. Inhale, knees bend, look forward. Exhale, make your way to the top of your mat. <laughs> Inhale, halfway lift, length out the neck. Exhale, fold completely to release. Inhale, high mountain, arms rise. Exhale, samasitihi, hands come to prayer. Inhale, high mountain, arms reach up. Exhale, fold to release. Inhale, halfway lift, tuck the chin, straighten out the spine. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, chair pose, sit down into the heels, arms reach up to hold, five breaths. Now, in your chest, sit the weight back. You wanna squeeze and engage your thighs. See if you can wrap the pinkies in and draw the shoulders down, slight tuck of the tailbone, hold and breathe. Close the eyes. Now you're more than welcome to challenge yourself as much as you feel comfortable with. See if you can find a space where it's still breathable and without having to tense and squeeze and crunch up your face and tense your jaw, you kind of want to actively be in your posture and still remain passive with your breath, nice and soft. Inhale, sink a little bit lower, last bit of challenge. Exhale, fold and release, well done. Inhale, halfway lift, length out the back of the neck. Exhale, plank, step back. 
Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows in, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog, roll over your toes, squeeze the thighs, look up to the sky. Exhale, down dog, roll over the toes, lower your heels down. Five breaths, close the eyes. Now you can either try and stay as still as possible. If you'd like to, you can always add a little bit of movement, pedaling from one side to the next, kind of just flowing with your breath as you move from left to right. See what feels good. The idea is that you want to keep your body, your attention embodied. So what I mean by that is just feeling your way through your practice instead of sort of thinking your way through. Just noticing where you feel, noticing the sensations, really just enjoying the movement for what it is. I'm not trying to actively build strength or come in with a sense of purpose. Just being in your body and seeing how that feels. One more breath in, and one more breath out. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg rises. Exhale, step through, low lunge, right foot comes in between your hands. Inhale, rise, high crescent lunge, reach your arms up, and breathe. Find balance between your legs. If your feet are on the same track, you can always give them just a hip width distance apart just to give yourself a bit of balance. Sink down as much as is breathable. Bring your hands to prayer. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, prayer twist to the right hand side. Left elbow comes onto the outside of the right knee. Hold and breathe. Now, if you'd like to, you can always lower the back knee for support. Otherwise, if you are up, see if you can keep as little weight into that front leg as possible to prevent yourself from dumping into that left leg. You wanna twist and rotate, still using your core to lengthen out the neck, actively pressing down. Hold and breathe. This is a bit challenging, so notice if your breath shortens and really leans the restriction in the breath so you can get the belly, those deep yogic belly breaths. And release. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, plank, hands down, step back. Well done. Inhale, weight shifts forward. Exhale, lower halfway, chaturanga, elbows in. <sighs> Inhale, upward facing dog, keep the elbows in. Roll the shoulders back, look up. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips up, heels down. <sighs> Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg reaches up and back. Exhale, step through, low lunge, left foot comes in between your hands. Inhale, rise, high crescent lunge, ground down, arms and shoulders stacked over your hips. Bring your hands to prayer. Inhale, weight shifts forward. Exhale, prayer twist to the left side. Right elbow hooks. Bring the hands to prayer. Use that leverage to rotate the spine up and open. Again, notice if this is in a position where you're really struggling to breathe or you're holding your breath, you can always lower the back knee to the floor to begin. And over time, you can slowly Build the strength, even if you up for two breaths and then lower it down. Again, keeping your face relaxed, keeping the jaw relaxed, breath nice and easy, restricting, hearing the sound. One more breath in, and one more breath out, well done. Release, high crescent, arms reach up. Exhale, plank, hands down. Step back. <laughs> Inhale, weight shifts forward for the last time. Exhale, chaturanga. Keep your elbows in, lower halfway, nice and strong. Head in line with the spine. Inhale, upward facing dog. Straighten your arms, chin up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hips up, heels down. <laughs> Inhale, knees bend, look forward. Exhale, make your way to a seat. Well done. Extend both legs out in front of you. Tuck your toes, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, shift the weight forward and release. Pachimottanasana, or east facing forward fold. If your hamstrings are tight, again, start off with a little bend, get your weight over your sitting bones, get your chest as far forward as possible. And with a straight spine, you're gonna lean the weight forward and then down. And then over time, you can either 
sort of kick your heels out and feel more of a stretch or walk your sitting bones back. But you really want to encourage that belly to thigh connection. Imagine if there was a pencil at the crease of your hip, you're going to use your hip flexor to bring your belly forward and down to clamp that. And then over time, you will slowly lengthen the hamstrings by walking your sit bones back. Release, inhale to roll up. Exhale, low down into your back, draw your right knee into your chest, give yourself a good squeeze. Say so reclined when removing, so flex both feet, bring your right knee out towards your right shoulder, tuck your chin, draw your shoulders back onto the floor, and see if you can keep your left leg nice and active. There's a tendency for that knee to lift off the floor, but keep your left leg nice and active and on the ground. Inhale. Exhale, supine twist, leg moves over to the left side, look over the right shoulder for a nice spine rinse. You want to keep your right arm and right shoulder on the floor, keep your eyes closed and over time your right knee will lower down to the left hand side, but this is definitely not a process that you want to try and rush. Just enjoy your breath and enjoy the stillness. And release, draw the right leg in, give it a little squeeze, switch it out, left leg comes in, right leg out long, flex your toes, keep your right leg nice and straight, same thing here, draw the knee in and out just slightly, keep your shoulders on the ground, chin tucked, right and left foot engaged, and you can apply the same technique, you're going to inhale to lengthen out the back of the neck, and as you exhale, slowly squeeze in. You can feeling a nice stretch on the left side. Keep your eyes closed, keep your breath steady, noticing the Ujjayi breath. With your next exhale, supine twist, lower over to the right hand side. Look over the left shoulder and release. Keep the eyes closed, really allow your exhale to relax into the posture. Noticing your breath slow down, your heart rate slow down. And it's at this point where the class begins to slow down that normally your mind may wander off into the rest of the day, but see if you can take control and gift yourself the next few moments of quiet, these Still moments of winding down are the most important, obviously ending in Shavasana. But just allow your breath to be, your breath and your attention to be embodied as you remain on your mat. Release, draw both legs into your chest. Give yourself a good squeeze. Inhale, raise your forehead up towards your knees. Take a moment to reconnect with your intention. And as you exhale, release into Shavasana, taking up some space. Toes out, palms up, and relax. Well done. I hope you're feeling good. And I hope that you are feeling nice and relaxed and embodied. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, release and let it all go. See if you can land Shavasana completely still. Just noticing the breath, noticing any urgency to move, and seeing if you can lean into your exhale just to relax completely.
Thank you once again for all the effort you've put into your practice and into this channel. I'm very grateful and I hope that you're feeling good and ready for the day ahead. As always, see if you can lay in Shavasana for a little longer than you normally would. And I'll see you next time on your mat. Namaste.